This video is an extended video version about the feature Common Search on Fairplane. This video is longer and more detailed than the short video version about the same feature. If you want to see the short video version about Common Search, in this video description you can find a link or you can also click in the card being displayed above this video to see the short video version about Common Search. The best way for you to search for anything on Freeplan is using the feature Common Search. You can find this feature at menu bar, help, and as you can see the first option here is the common search feature and the assigned shortcut is also here on the right side Control F1. I'm just gonna hit Control F1 because it's easier and as you can see the common search dialog box will be displayed. I advise you to uncheck the search whole words checkbox because this will make your search found results more broad. And also uncheck this close after execute checkbox. I'm gonna show how this is useful in a few seconds. Here in the search field you can put any word words or even shortcut. I'm going to put the word cut and here in the top side you can see your search filters. You can search for menu items, preferences, icons or even combinations of filters like menu items and preferences both at the same time. I personally do not use icons on my mind maps because of my approach. In future videos I'll be explaining why I do not use icons on my pedagogy approach on mind maps and how you can make the knowledge process as fast and easy as possible. So let's keep it technical and just select menu items and preferences. Your preferences search found results will be displayed with this engine icon on the left side. If you double click in any search found results, the preferences dialog box will be displayed and the item you just double clicked will be highlighted with this blue text color so you can find it easier. And if you uncheck it, this closed after execute checkbox, this will enable you to see all the search found results without having to close common search like this. You double click in the other item, see it highlighted at the preferences panel, check out what it does, how it could be useful for you, play around with this preferences configuration, close it and open the other item, check it highlighted and see what it does, how it could be used close it again without having your common search dialog box closed because if you uncheck at the close after execute checkbox you can only close the common search dialog box by clicking the X icon or also by just pressing the ask key on your keyboard and all your menu items search found results that will be displayed with this blue round icon you can just select any node you want to apply any menu item feature search found results and just straight double click here. For example, I'm just gonna select this node A and straight double click in the edit cut feature like this. And as you can see, I just cutted the node A. Let me undo this action with Ctrl Z. And you can also go to this address at menu bar, like menu bar, edit and cut. And you can see that the assigned shortcut is displayed here on the right side and also at the common search dialog box on the right side, Ctrl X. So you can either just click here and see the address of the feature at the menu item. You can just double click here at the common search found result or you can also just use the Ctrl X shortcut like this, Ctrl X. And as you can see, I just cut at that node. In this channel, there is also another video teaching how to assign shortcuts at the common search dialog box and also at the menu bar. If you wanna see the video teaching how to assign shortcuts, you can click in the card being displayed here above this video. If your computer has a Windows system, you can also manage this common search dialog box without using your mouse. Let me clear and close it so I can show you. You could just hit Ctrl F1, common search dialog box will be displayed and as you can see, the editing bar will be already at the search field. In order to select or unselect any one of these checkbox, you just need to hold Alt key. And as you can see, each checkbox has an underscored letter. For example, if I hit the M letter, I'm gonna select or unselect my menu items. If I hold Alt and hit 
I letter, I will be selecting and unselecting the icons checkbox. For preferences, I just need to hold out and press P, S for search whole words, and C for close after execute. For each time you hold out key and click the letter on the score, you'll be checking and unchecking the checkbox. For the whole time, the editing bar will be blinking at the search field. You just need to input any information you want, like cut. I can hold out and click M for menu items, and P for preferences like I did before, but this time without using my mouse. I personally do not like to do this. I, I rather just using my mouse, but just for the sake of covering all the possible situations, this has to be said here in this channel. I could manage to become very fluent on Fairplan because I've been passionate and using this for a long time. And anytime I need to use any feature of Fairplan, I can hit the shortcut unconscious without even noticing and this will happen with you as well. The more you use Freeplane and Freeplane shortcuts, you'll be able to hit any shortcut without even noticing. But when I'm making the videos, I need to remember in a conscious level the shortcuts in order to make the video. And I've become so fluent on Freeplane that I don't remember the shortcut, I just type it unconscious without even noticing. And this common search feature is so useful that whenever I'm making the videos, instead of searching for each feature at menu bar or even in the other panels like preferences or even the style editing panel. I just rather hit Ctrl F1, open command search, type here whatever I need to find so I can create the video for you guys. That's how common search feature is useful in Freeplane. Even myself, a very experienced mind map user, I use common search all the time to search for anything on Freeplane. So try it out, common search, play around with this feature you're gonna enjoy and anytime you realize you're using any common search feature very often don't be shy and just assign a shortcut to that feature or memorize the shortcut if there is one already assigned and after that just type the shortcut like I do you will easily and very fast memorize other shortcuts for things you use very often in the way free plan suites best to your needs that's it for now guys, see you in the next video.